I tell you what, I was walking around with this sweater, and you know what, people said, oh, it's warm. Good morning. We'll call the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting for June 11th to order. I'm Larry Hedkins, Chairman of the County Board. Joining me are Commissioners Brent Smoyer, Deb Shore, Roma Amundsen, and Jane Raybould. Assisting us this morning are the County Attorney's Office. Uh, with us is Brittany Behrens, as well as Angela Zokol and Dan Noli from the County Clerk's Office. Mr. Clerk, would you begin the agenda, please? Copy the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, copy of all written material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available from the County Clerk's staff. The material can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Agenda on item one are minutes, approving the minutes of the Board of Commissioners meeting held on Tuesday, June 4th, 2013. Move approval. Second. Are there any additions or corrections? If not, call the roll. Shore. Yes. Raybold. Yes. Amundsen. Yes. Smoyer. Yes. Hudkins. Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number two are claims, approval of all claims processed through Tuesday, June 11, 2013. Move approval of the claims. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number three is a special presentation. Commissioner's Board of Excellence for May 2013 to Brenda Burrell Community Mental Health Center. Ron, would you like to come up with Brenda? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> yes, Dan, would you read the resolution, please? Brenda Burrell has been selected as Commissioner's Award of Excellence winner for May 2013. Brenda works as an account clerk one and began working from the county on March 14th, 1991. She was nominated by Wendy Andorf in the category of productivity. Wendy states Brenda performed above and beyond her typical job and job description and providing nearly all the clerical support needed to accomplish a very successful car accreditation review. Brenda put in many overtime hours and showed ingenuity and creativity in getting program documents, policies, procedures, and other documentation up to date and professional. This ability to rise to the challenge is especially remarkable given the current trans transition and low morale within the agency. Successful CARP accreditation means continued revenue generation and certification as a provider of behavioral health services. For these reasons, we are pleased to award Brenda Burrell with the Commissioner's Award of Excellence for the month of May 2013. Lancaster County Board of Commissioners, I want to thank you so much for your service and your excellence in operations. I know right now the Community Mental Health Center is going through a difficult phase, but it's in wonderful employees like you that really boost not only the morale of your fellow colleagues, but also the wonderful people that you have to continue to serve. So thank you. Thank you for getting through the CARF accreditation. Right. We know that that is a very challenging thing. <laughs> Fortunately, we only have to go through every, what, three, three years? years? Three years. So Brenda, congratulations, and thank you for your service. Thank you. Ron or Brenda, would you like to make comments? <laughs> Step up to the mic a little bit. <laughs> it won't bite. Um, I was just thrilled to be nominated mm -hmm. to get the recognition, and this is above that. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Next is number four, public hearing, County Tax Amendment number 12034. Uh, this is Article 19 of the Lancaster County uh, Board Zoning Resolution Demand Reorganize and Clarify the County Board of Zoning Appeals Procedure. Do you solemnly swear from that the testimony you're about to give is the truth and nothing but the truth? I do. 
Sarah Hartzell, Planning Department. Uh, I didn't know if I was supposed to come up and talk again since this was held <laughs> open since last week, but um, this, these are our amendments to our BZA chapter to hopefully streamline our process a little bit and make it a little bit um, easier for folks to navigate and hopefully save them a little bit of money too and bring it into alignment with the city and the state codes as well. Other questions for Sarah? <clears throat> Is there anyone uh, who would like to uh, make comments, either pro or con? Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing. And Mr. Clerk, would you read item 5A? A resolution in the matter of county text amendment number 12034, a text amend amendment to the Lancaster County Zoning Resolution, Article 19. To amend, reorganize, and clarify the County Board of Zoning Appeals procedure, the amendments are provided in Attachment A. Let's move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries <coughs> 5 to 0. Number six is new business, a special designated license application from Blue Blood Brewing Company, Inc. to provide alcoholic beverage service for an event at Robinette Farms at 17675 Southwest 14th Street, Martell on June 15th, 2013. Move approval. Second. Uh, the clerk's office informs me that uh, they had planned to be here this morning and were not able to, but we have no prior uh, complaints uh, on previous activities which they have hosted. Any further discussion? Would you call the roll, please. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. 6B is a recommendation from the Personnel Policy Board to do the following. Revised classifications for Computer and GIS Records Assistant 2, Computer and GIS Records Supervisor, Appraiser Apprentice, Statistical Statistical Modeling Analyst, Senior Residential Property Appraiser, Senior Commercial Property Appraiser, and Appraisal Supervisor. Delete the X pay plan and call and, and all classifications contained in the X pay plan. Amend Rule 18.1 of the Personnel Rules Compensation for Absence on Holidays. Amend Rule 19.1 of the Personnel Rules Leaves of Absence, Request, and Approval. Amend Rule 19.7 of the Personnel Rules, Leaves of Absence, Special Leave. Revised Breastfeeding Personnel Policy Bulletin. Well, Doug, it looks like personnel has been busy reviewing these. <laughs> sure, we have. Uh, first uh, off, I would uh, like to ask the board to hold action on two of these class descriptions, <laughs> the Computer and GIS Records Assistant 2 and Computer and GIS Records Supervisor. Uh, if you'd hold action, please, we have some more work to do with other customers on that. The other class descriptions we uh, submit, uh, we're working with the uh, um, department on this uh, uh, entire audit, if you will, and uh, these class descriptions need some upgrading in terms of the minimum qualifications. Uh, so again, we've uh, gone forward to make those and pass those on, so moving them into uh, bachelor's degree categories. Okay, you've heard the recommendation by the personnel director. What's move, move approval. Uh, with, with the exception of the GIS records assistant two and the computer and GIS records supervisor. Uh, All right. Second. And Deb. A question. Mm -hmm. um, the policy behind the change in the X plan. Could you just explain that for benefit of the employees and the oh, public? Okay. Uh, the X pay plan for the last 10, 12 years has only had one person in the pay plan. Uh, recently, we uh, audited and moved that uh, individual out into uh, an E plan, uh, I believe. And so uh, there's no incumbents in the X pay plan. There's no intentions to put anyone in the X pay plan. So we thought we would just do some housekeeping and clean it up. Any further discussion? If not, call the roll. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. Thank you. C is a resolution in the matter of authorizing use of County Visitors Improvement Fund proceeds for visitor promotion. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. 
D is a recommendation from the Juvenile Justice Prevention Fund Advisory Committee for the award of grants from the Juvenile Justice Prevention Fund totaling $110,000 for the 2013-2014 budget year. CASA for Lancaster County, $6,500. Christian Heritage, $10,000. El Central de Las Americas, $19,963. Friendship Home, $12,500. Girl Scouts, $15,000. Heartland Big Brothers, Big Sisters, $10,000. Malone Community Center, $17,000. Salvation Army, $12,537. And Volunteer Partners, $6,500. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. E is an agreement with Great Plains Appraisal Inc. to provide referees to hear evaluation protests and transmit to the Lancaster County Board of Equalization all papers relating to such protests together with written findings and recommendations. Great Plains Appraisal will provide the services of Wayne Kubert, Kay Lacey, Tom Kubert, Cody Gertis, Richard Keith, Lori Johnson, Jason Pickrell, Kathy Briley, Sean Fleck, and Sean Brandt. The county will pay $50 to $85 per hour for referee service, $30 per hour for clerical support, and $35 per hour for security service. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hutkins? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. 6F is an agreement with the following individuals for referee services provided to hear evaluation protests filed for the 2013 tax year and to transmit information to the Lancaster County Board of Equalization. The referees are Robert Anderson, Jeffrey Danick, John Haney, Greg Heinzman, James Hermsmeyer, Brent Hollingsworth, Michael Hollingsworth, Joel Kirby, Bill Lang, John McVeigh, Jan Moore, Barbara Ram, Ethel Skinner, Jack Sullivan, Larry Swanson, Marilyn Tabor, Joel Walker, Sally Webster, Joe Wilson, and Larry Rassi. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. G is a recommendation from the county engineer to award bids to Western Sand and Gravel. Bluff Gravel and Lyman Ritchie Sand and Gravel for the annual supply of gravel, Kerford Limestone and Martin Marietta for the annual supply of rock, and Western Sand and Gravel and Lyman Ritchie Sand and Gravel for the annual supply of ice control gravel. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. 6H is an agreement with L.A. Young, Inc. for professional services of a nurse practitioner to assist in the provision of psychiatric services at the Community Mental Health Center. The county will pay $75 per hour for no more than 44 hours per week. Term of the agreement is July 1st, 2013 to June 30th, 2014. Move approval. Seconds. Discussion. Call the roll. Shore. Yes. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. I is Fifth Amendment to Dispro Disproportionate Share Hospital Intergovernmental Transfer Agreement with the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services, found at County Contract C 8 151. The amendment renews agreement for an additional year from July 1st, 2013 to June 30th, 2014. Move approval. Seconds. Discussion? Call the roll. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. J is an amendment to County Contract C 10 384 with Aon Risk Service, Services Central Inc. to provide employee benefit consulting services for insurance programs. The amendment renews the contract for an additional term from June 1st, 2013 to May 31st, 2014. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. 
six Ks. I'm going to count contract C-10-317 with Correctional Health Care Management, Inc. for Juvenile Health Care Services at the Youth Services Center. The amendment increases the amount of compensation paid to CHM to $15,003.34 per month for the period July 1st, 2013 to June 30th, 2014. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Hutkins? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. L is a political subdivision tort claim filed against Lancaster County Corrections by Eric Stevenson for lost property in amount of $1,500. Based on the recommendation of the Director of Corrections, I move we deny the claim. Second. Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Hudkins. Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Next is 6M labor negotiations. Would it be okay with the board if we went through the agenda and recess yes. and come back and finish that? Okay. Proceed on to consent items, please. Uh, number seven consent items right away contract between a county engineer and Larry and Gloria Edgar, Princeton Road and South 110th Street as a donation. Receive and place on file the following monthly reports for May 2013. County Clerk, Clerk of the District Court, County Assessor Register Deeds, County Records, and Information Management. Setting of a public hearing for Tuesday, June 25th, 2013 at 10.30 a.m. in Room 112 at the County City Building regarding the following. Um, and the applicant has requested that that be rescheduled for July 23rd. Uh, this is County Changes Zone Number 12038, AG to AGR. Um, this is Northwest 126th Street and West Bluff Road. And that reschedule will be July 23rd, Mr. Clerk? I uh, correct. Okay, thank you. Amusement license application from Event King LLC to hold an event at 5895 West Spray Road on August 23rd, 2013. Move approval of consent items. Second. <clears throat> Would also like to thank Larry and Gloria Edgar for their donation of right away. Call the roll, please. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Grable? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Next is number eight, public comment. Those wishing to speak on items related to county business not on the agenda may do so at this time. Is there anyone in the audience which who would like to make comments? Seeing none, proceed. Next is announcements. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold a staff meeting on Thursday, June 13th, 2013 at 8.30 a.m. in room 113 at the County City Building. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold their next regular meeting on Tuesday, June 18th, 2013 at 10.30 a.m. in room 112 of the County City Building with the Board of Organization immediately following. A public hearing will be held on Tuesday, June 18th, 2013 at 10.30 a.m. in room 112 of the County City Building to amend the Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department air pollution control regulations and standards. The County Commissioners can be reached at 402-441-7447 or commish at lancaster.ne.gov. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners Commissioner's meeting is broadcast live, but it's rebroadcast on Tuesday and Saturday on Five City TV, Cable Channel 5. In addition, the meeting may be viewed on the internet at lancaster.ne.gov under Five City TV Video On Demand or Five City TV on YouTube. Uh, we would like to go into recess at this time, and then we will open the the. Board of Equalization for Tuesday, June 11th. First item, please. A copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, a copy of all material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available from the county clerk's staff. The material can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Scott Gaines from the county assessor's office is uh, with us today as well. Agenda item 100 minutes, approval of the minutes of the Board Equalization meeting held on Tuesday, June 4th, 2013. Move approval. Second. Are there additions or corrections? Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. Next are additions and deductions to the tax assessment rolls. Move approval. Second. 
Discussion? Call the roll. Raybould? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number three is a motor vehicle tax exemption application for First United Methodist Church. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Raybould? Yes. Hudkins? Motion carries five to zero. I move we adjourn the Board of Equalization meeting. Second. Call the roll. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Raybould? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Motion to enter executive session at 10.51 a.m. for the purpose of discussing labor negotiations and to protect the public interest. Second. And a motion made to enter executive session for labor negotiations and to protect the public interest. Call the roll, please. Raybould? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hutkins? Yes. Motion carries five to zero.